Just in case you think I'm laying this on a bit thick, I will introduce the one note of humour that took place in uh, my induction, as it's called. And this came when I was taken off to uh, see the prison psychiatrist. Now, you, to get the humour of this moment, you need to remember that um, my sentencing had not gone unnoticed by the great British public, thanks to the great British media, some 500 of whose representatives were by now outside Belmarsh Prison. But somehow that had gone unnoticed by the prison psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame him, he was having a busy day, he wasn't bothering to tune into the media. So reasonably enough, I was just another anonymous prisoner in front of him. So he rattled off an absolutely bog-standard list of questions. Name, uh, date of birth, prison number, next of kin. Does your next of kin know you're in prison? And the question after that was, does anyone other than your next of kin know you're in prison? <laughs> And I thought of those massed ranks of paparazzi. And so I gave the psychiatrist a wry smile. And I said, um, as a matter of fact, I think by now, maybe 15 or 20 million people now I'm in prison. <laughs> the psychiatrist, uh, he, he did not return my wry smile. He said he frowned a bit and he scribbled rather busily on his pad. <laughs> and then he said, uh, rather sharply, he said, do you mean to tell me you really think that uh, 15 or 20 million people, they were in prison? <laughs> So I, I nodded, uh, and then his tone became gentler and indeed more clinical. Uh, and he, he said to me in a soft, kind voice, May I ask you, have you ever suffered from delusions? <laughs>